What's up YouTube? It's Go Explicit, the best source for GTA 5 and Call of Duty knowledge, and I'm bringing you the aggressive walkthrough after update. Now, the heist have changed um, after the most recent update. There's a couple um, tweaks. A lot of people have been asking me. I put out another video if you guys want to check that out over Silent and Sneaky, but um, a lot of people have been asking um, how should we walk through it? What are some of those minor changes? And they're not super huge changes, um, it, with the exception of one um, change when you're exiting, when using my exit anyway around the horse track. But um, this is a real simple video. So we, we did this um, aggressive walkthrough for you guys. It's solely based on time. So we weren't going for as much money as we could possibly get. But we did do this quick and clean so you can see how to get in and out um, quickly and make your money. Um, this does work for cash or gold. Um, this specific walkthrough artwork's a little easier because you can do it with two people. But... Um, for aggressive, since you're killing everybody, um, you're really rolling through things. I recommend three people and, you know, cash or preferably gold would be the best thing to steal, to be honest. We did this with four. It can be done with three, like I said. So let's just jump right into the walkthrough. Quick shout out to the fellows for helping me out with this heist. Eli, SoFly, Ghosting, Hypes, and Sanji. I appreciate y'all. You want to make sure that you are entering the sewers and then you're going to be exiting through staff lobby. Obviously, you want to sell to the highest buyer. Um, you don't need the decoy or the clean vehicle. It is completely up to you, um, but the quickest way in and out is definitely through the sewers and then coming out of staff lobby. Remember, your outfits are completely up to you. You can rotate through all of them so that you can unlock them um, in free mode, um, but as long as you have some kind of armor, you should be good to go. So like I said, aggressive is pretty simple. Um, especially after the update, you really just go in, you know, guns blazing and you come out, much like the description says. Setups wise, you obviously want to get the bore machine um, so you can go into the sewers and make that hole. Um, I would recommend, you know, getting your armor. Doing most of the um, setups will help you with aggressive just because there's so many moving parts. Level 2 key cards, obviously, all that. With the more people that help you with setups, you can get aggressive done in, in an hour or so, so it really isn't that tough. So all you have to do is run down to the sewers and go to the door it has marked, and then someone just needs to set a breaching charge on the wall so that you can bust through and you actually will bust through at the bottom of the casino um, where the vault already is, so it creates a lot less work for you guys. Like I said, you really just have to come in guns blazing, so... Um, I would have two people that are in charge of getting most of the kills and then two people run to that door um, Which is to your left as soon as you come in um, that way you can go ahead and slide those cards And you can have people getting the door open to the vault and saving you guys some time so that you can get in and get out quickly Once you get to the vault, you just have to set the uh, breaching charges. Uh, only two people need to do that. And then remember, there is a blast radius, so you just have to get out of that blast radius and someone has to call and detonate the bomb on your phone. So like I said, um, we did do this as quick as we possibly could. We didn't go for as much money um, as we as you can max out and get. It is only cash, so we weren't stealing gold. But I recommend having um, at least one person in the middle grabbing whatever you're stealing. If you have four people, then put two on that. And then for the breaching charges, you can actually get into the door right away. So one person needs to go to the left like I did and put a breaching charge down. One person go to the right like he did and put a breaching charge down, and then someone needs to meet in the middle. That way you can be working on things while the uh, breaching charge is going off, 
and you're not wasting any time. It's much simpler than hacking and then like I said when every door is open you just run around grab your cash, grab your gold, your artwork, whatever you are stealing. If you have power drills you can have people on that um, but you just need to make sure that you get everything and then at around 23, 24 seconds or so I usually tell everybody to be out of the door or running out of the door by about that time just so that you have enough time to clear and then um, with aggressive though things are slightly different because you're already found people already obviously know that you're stealing things so you don't have to be as silent as you do in silent or sneaky or um, as you do in the big con first and foremost make sure that you don't shoot your own teammates because that will count against you you will lose money so uh, like I said, have two people up front shooting because if all four of you are shooting and you accidentally walk in front of somebody, um, you're still going to lose money. So exiting is where things get slightly more difficult um, with the update and everything. I just found a, a few bumps in the road, which I will let you know once we get to them. Um, but it's the same as you know swiping your key card and opening up those doors. Uh, once you run all the way down, you're still going to be just, you know, main priority is taking out people that get in your way. Um, so like I said, I would have your best gunman up front. I'm just aiming and taking things out, but you just want to get to the stairs. And then once you get to the stairs, you just want to head up um, to the top floor. Remember, there is a daily vault up here. Um, you can get that um, since, you know, you're already kind of found. You just have to do it quickly. I'd recommend just somebody going in and taking out people in the control room and then hitting a the button for you. But um, for our purposes, since we were trying to go through quickly, we actually didn't go for um, that daily vault just because, you know, it's not enough money. Um, it doesn't really change things too much but so right here uh, you just want to make sure that your doors are clear and some of the heists we found that uh, maids carts and things like that I'm not an aggressive but in other heists maids carts have been blocking some of those doors so then you have to sneak around or you have to um, run underneath cameras and stuff like in silent and sneaky and things like that obviously aggressive you don't uh, worry about the cameras you just take people out so it's a lot easier but you just want to make sure that maids carts aren't blocking those doors that's the biggest thing I have found so once you guys get to the staff lobby door, um, it's the same exit that I use in most of my heists, um, except after this update, they now put a swap vehicle um, where you run to and jump over the gate to get to the sewers or to get to a car and fly away in the helicopter. So um, I've noticed that any heist that we do, there's going to be a SWAT car. Obviously an aggressive, you don't have to stay away from people, get alerted, you know, things like that. You just run across. Um, as quick as you possibly can. Remember gold, those make you a little slower. Um, we do all have cash, so we're a little bit faster, but you basically just want to take out anybody in your path still. Um, this SWAT car to the right, you want to take them out. When you get to this tree, I recommend jumping to the left of the tree because the ground comes up a little higher. Um, some people tend to fall and lose cash when they jump to the right of that tree. So once you get right here, it's the normal exit after everybody hits the grass that I use in my other videos. Um, three people need to run to the sewers down at the bottom. One person needs to go up to the road. Uh, remember, you do need a four-door car, obviously, because you have four people. I would recommend doing a two-door car with two people when you're still in artwork because it's a lot faster. But um, since we're not hiding anymore, it doesn't matter that you um, shoot any of the police officers or any of the other uh, helicopters. Obviously, if they're shooting at you, feel free to shoot at them to take them out because um, you are losing money with every bullet that you take but I would just come up to the road and look for the closest car um, I know that there's a lot of cars that spawn to the left over here you're gonna see me steal this car actually and then drive over there to get a four-door um, that's completely fine there's a lot of cars that are gonna be driving up like that sometimes I steal those cars and go sometimes I don't but all you have to do is find a four-door car like I did over here and then drive it down to the sewers and pick everybody up Once you've grabbed everybody, remember you just need to drive throughout the sewers. Um, if the cops are still on you, 
I'll show you where I stop and wait. Um, it's a great place to wait the cops out. And then once you've done so, all you have to do is simply just exit the sewers, which you'll see in this video, um, the right way to exit through the tunnels. If uh, you do this enough times, honestly, it becomes second nature. I don't even think about it now when I'm driving through these things. So um, this is always a go-to exit for me. Remember, you can drive um, to the helicopter pad up top and get that and fly. It makes things much quicker. Um, but with four people, um, I was kind of helping them with uh, what to do. We chose the uh, sewer route so that you guys could see a surefire way to get through everything. And then remember, uh, once you get out of the tunnels, you just need to switch cars. Um, it makes things easier on you. The cops won't spot you as easy. And then remember, don't drive past any of the police or the police station or the casino. Um, I know that it sounds like common sense, but some people do that. And then uh, all you do is switch cars, and then you just want to drive left of Los Santos on the highway all the way to where your buyer is, um, depending on what you chose. Hopefully you chose um, the highest possible payout that you can get. Uh, remember, you do want to stay right here for whenever the cops are still on you. Um, once they lay off, then you just drive through these tunnels over here. And that is pretty much the aggressive heist. It's pretty quick. It's pretty clean. Um, you don't have to focus on strategy as much, obviously, because you're going in loud. Um, from the get-go, please don't forget to like and subscribe guys. I'm trying to bring you guys as much GTA knowledge and uh, Entertainment as I possibly can let me know if there's anything else you want to see um, Feel free to comment on anything. I do ch check daily. I do try and answer y'all's questions I appreciate the love and support guys, and I will see you in the next video